Welcome to Cyrus One's Dublin One Data Center Campus here in Grange Castle, Dublin, Ireland. My name is Mark Maloney. I am the Director of Interconnection Solutions and Sustainability in Europe for Cyrus One. Many of our customers and partners will be aware that Cyrus One is the founding member of the Climate Neutral Data Center Pact. We have pledged to become carbon neutral in Europe by 2030. Few, though, will be aware we made a formal pledge to Habitat in our 2020 Sustainability Report making it the fourth pillar of our commitment to the environment alongside water, carbon and energy. Our commitment to Habitat manifests in several ways across the world, ranging from bespoke landscaping and biodiversity plans on newer developments to applying host in Ireland's DC for Bees pollinator plan in others. We also work with local non-profit organisations and communities to enhance planting and ecology around established operating facilities. Today we are standing at Cyrus One's Dublin One data centre campus here in Grange Castle, Dublin, Ireland which is one of our landscape habitats that can demonstrate how a thoughtful landscape strategy to support biodiversity and importantly, protect and grow our bee populations. I'm Kevin Fitzpatrick, I'm a landscape architect. Our practice promotes habitat creation in commercial and amenity landscapes. I'm standing here today beside this newly created wetland, which forms part of Saris One's ambitious landscape strategy to create an attractive landscape scheme that also promotes local ecology and biodiversity. Well, this wetland has already been planted with reeds and rushes, which creates a breeding habitat for amphibians like the frog and the newt. It also provides for pollinating insects through the planting of marigolds and irises, which are incorporated with the rushes. The wildflower meadow is a central part of the scheme. It's recently been seeded using native seed. That will be complemented by areas that are let go wild, providing an abundance of flowering pollinators. We've set aside an area for an orchard, uh, which we'll plant using trees under the Host in Ireland Orchard Scheme. Here you can see the berms that we've created using waste earth excavated from site. This reduces the amount of waste, leaving the site to be accommodated elsewhere and helps us integrate the building into the landscape. The berms are planted with woodland, including oak and birch, but also include some pollinating trees like wild cherry and bird cherry. Underneath the trees, we have woodland shrubs that include gelder rose, rock rose, and other pollinators. The woodland creates an ecological corridor that links into the surrounding landscape. It also creates a sound barrier and mitigates any landscape sensitivities. Well, you can see that we're maintaining all of the hedgerows that we could, and we're also establishing new hedgerows, including a long lost historic hedgerow that re-establishes a townland boundary. Alongside the hedgerows and earth banks, the recently proposed bee hotels, to be included in the scheme will create a perfect habitat for a huge variety of bees. We've established climbing frames on the building to cover the full 15 metres height. This provides a framework for deciduous and flowering plants such as clematis. The frames will be provided on two sides of the building. The frames will provide aesthetics and pollinating potential. While I've been working on the Grange Castle Osiris One site for a number of years, this is clearly the start of the journey for this site becoming a great habitat for pollinators and biodiversity. We look forward to sharing updates over the coming months and years.